Autocar has done a great job with a lot of things on this truck. One of those, engine selection. By the time you guys get done with a theme song, I'll have the cab jacked up. We're gonna talk about it. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it is Josh with Premier Truck Sales and Rental. I wanna thank you for tuning back in this week. This is an exciting week. Engine and transmission week, right? So let's just dive straight into it. And I think you'll see why I'm pretty excited about this one. This is the Cummins X12. Now this one is 350 horsepower and it is 1,350 foot pounds of torque. When it comes to refuse trucks, you really can't have too much power and torque. And this Cummins engine really packs it in. The nice thing is with it being the X12 is it is a smaller and lighter engine, but still has that 350 horsepower. Now on top of that reliability, you've got the serviceability. It's a Cummins. You can get this thing serviced anywhere almost. I mean, it's, it's just literally, it's the, these engines are ubiquitous and the shops that service them are all over the place. So finding and getting into a shop is never gonna be an issue if you do happen to have a problem. Now, this is set up really well too to prevent problems. Now, all the fluid checks for the most part we've got over here on this side, power steering's over there, but they're all simple and easy to get to and you can fill them without having to jack the cab up. Big thing there is to be able to get to all that. Something else that they've done for reliability is they use constant torque clamps. These are clamps that just aren't gonna come loose and they use the spring in there to make sure that no matter where the anything is moved, they keep a constant pressure on there. It's not gonna loosen up as things vibrate and shake because we all know these trucks vibrate and shake, whether it be from the engine, whether it be from the road or whether it be from the can going over the top. We wanna make sure that you're never gonna have an issue with any of these clamps. So, like I said, all the ones on the intercooler up here, the ones for the cooling system here, they are all those co constant torque application clamps. So on this truck also, there is a Davco fuel filter that does have heat and also has a water probe to it. So that way you know if there's any issues with the fuel. Speaking of water, this has a 1300 square inch cooling system capacity. I mean, these trucks stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. A lot of low speed work for these trucks. So we've got a big cooling system on it to make sure you're never gonna have a problem. Behind it is an even bigger fan that's directly driven from the engine here. Once again, great setup. We're gonna make sure that all the air comes through that you're gonna need in order to avoid any overheating issues. Speaking of heating, let's talk about when it gets really, really, really cold out. This has a 1500 watt, 120 volt block heater system in that. So that way, if it's cold out, plug it in, you're good to go in the morning and not worried about getting things going. And speaking about getting things going, see how this is all connecting from one to the next to the next? This truck uses a 160 amp alternator. We wanna make sure that those 2850 cold cranking amp batteries get back up to snuff quickly. Plus, there is a lot of electronics between the cab, the engine, and the body. We wanna make sure that there is power to spare. So this, like I said, 160 amp alternator, ready to go for you. You've heard me say something along the lines before too, it doesn't matter how much power you have if it doesn't have anywhere to go. This power is routed through the Allison 4000 RDS transmission. They do the job amazingly well, amazingly reliably. Isn't that what you want from a transmission? Now, I've also mentioned too before, they use a live PTO setup. So that way you're never worried about, can I do something with this, that, or the other while you're moving? That PTO is engaged, so that way you're not worried about that. This is programmed specifically to work with these refuse applications. So that start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Not only is it programmed to work efficiently, but it's also programmed for durability and reliability. Now this runs two small lines from the back of the transmission down front to a totally separate cooler. It runs coolant through the cooler 
and it runs transmission fluid through the cooler to help keep all those temperatures managed. Once again, it's a simple, great setup, and those are steel lines the whole way through. Now, I wanted to hop down and show you how this goes together because I think this is a really great system that between Cummins and Autocar they've put together for the exhaust and emissions. This is the Cummins single unit SCR DPF system. Now, everything's all together in one unit. It becomes easier to service, it's actually more durable in the long run, and it's simpler. So that's a great start on this. Now, second off, when you look up top there, you can see the exhaust tip that Autocar has on this. That has a grate on it. It's gonna let anything out that it needs to, mainly exhaust, but it's gonna make sure that nothing has the ability to go down that exhaust. The last thing that we ever wanna do is have the risk of a fire. And that grate right there is gonna do a great job of helping to prevent that. Now that we've got the engine and the transmission figured out, well, where's all that power going? That is what we're going to cover next week. So do me a favor, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like this, hit the thumbs up. As always, if you've got a question, put it in the comments below. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. I'm looking forward to next week. Stay safe out there.